the heck is that thing? What the heck is this thing? No, the big blue ribbon in your hair. <laughs> of course, the thing in your hand. <laughs> I'm learning hypnosis. Oh, I always knew you were a magic <laughs> man. Thank you, Manny. And because of your unwavering support, I promise to never put you under any evil spells. Ah, much appreciated, my brother. You've always been a better friend. And when you decided to learn this new vocation? Mm, vocation? And when did you decide to start using four-syllable words? <laughs> three. Three what? Syllables, vocation, oh, three. Look at that. I have a believer and a grammar expert on my side. You never know when either expertise will come in handy. Yeah, I'm like a highly educated, more articulate MacGyver. Okay, say, say, say I gave you a pronoun, two semicolons, and a verb. What do you do? Probably save the world. <laughs> Although there was that time when I thought colon cancer was just bad punctuation. Didn't we all? Yes, we did. Yeah. All right, all right, enough with the love fest. Seriously, you really think you can hypnotize someone? <laughs> He's magic. Watch. Back and forth. Back and forth. It's your magic? Repetition? Back and forth. And... Sleep! Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, yeah! Oh my god, I did it! You did, did it. it! You did I, it! It's just, I was just uh, fiddling you with just, this two dollar piece of plastic. thing and he oh just fell. I have the mojo! You do, hey, yes. hey, hey! I always knew you had the mojo. Oh my god. You're like, you're like Kreskin or Harry Potter minus the good looks in the movie deal. Oh, all right, all right, listen, what should we do? Uh, uh, you, you gotta do something terrible. I, I agree, mean, geez. I agree, let me think, um, let me think. Maybe you should, uh, uh, I, I, got know. I got like, it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Steve, you are now under my control. You will say whatever I tell you to say. From now on, when you hear the word Steve, you will say, suck it. Suck it. <laughs> love it. It's great. I love it. That's great. It's, it's, it's fun yet evil. Yeah. God, you're like a Voldemort. Again, minus the good looks and, and the bad reputation. You really don't think I'm good looking, do you? I, no, I do. I do. You okay. are. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. You're okay. Okay. All right. And wake up! Nothing. I knew it. Nothing. Steve. Suck it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> Jesus. All right. I gotta go. But I'll, I'll see you later. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Sure. Uh, uh, <laughs> bye. Hi, <laughs> Steve. Suck it. <laughs>
don't think so. So what brings you in today? Oh, hey, I thought maybe you'd like to go out to dinner tonight. Really? Tonight? As in today, tonight? Yeah, it's okay with you. Thought maybe it'd give us a chance to catch up. Yeah, that's a great idea, I'd like that. Perfect, eight o'clock at the cottage? Okay. See you then. All right. Good morning, Steve. Suck it. Hey, sorry about your wife. Getting sleepy, very sleepy, and sleep. <laughs> You're like a god. Thank you, Manny. I like to consider myself not so much a god, but godlike. A subtle difference, I know, but a difference nonetheless. Gotta keep them crazy Christian right kooks at bay. You're like a mini god, small yet powerful. I mean, impressive. Impressive either way. I think these two need a little more straightforwardness in their uh, relationship, don't you? I agree, they're both bastards. <laughs> I wouldn't go as far as to say that, but let's see if we can give them a hand, shall we? Because you're an awfully helpful bastard. Yeah. Okay. When you wake up, you will only be able to be completely straightforward with one another. Wake up! Told you it wouldn't work. Strike two for loser boy. You need a haircut. You're beginning to look like a chimp. Well, your ass needs liposuction. Last time I saw anything that big, there was two of every animal on it. Your ass is so big, it doesn't have a crack, it has a fault. Are you insinuating that I have a large ass? No. I'm saying you have a large ass. Well, your ears make you look like Dumbo. Your breath smells like Bakwano. How do you know what Bakwano smells like? Because I kiss you every day. I know what Bakwano tastes like. I could probably marry a bat. I've, I'm so used to the, the smell and the taste and that screechy noise you make. It's... Uh, ah! <laughs> what did I do? Nothing. Nothing. You did everything great. That was wonderful. But if I were you, I would go after her. But don't stop showing her the love. Don't stop showing her the love. <laughs> I don't know about you, brother, brother, but I love this game. I love this game, too. This one's fun. <laughs> He's going to marry a bat. There you are. You haven't been answering your cell. You have to have dinner tonight with us and the mayor. The mayor? Yeah. We have to get him on our side to get the extra money we need for the show. The council's meeting tomorrow. Actually, I already have plans. Well, lose them, sweetheart. If you want your show to happen, you have to be there. The cottage at eight, okay? I'll be there. Good boy. See you there. You don't happen to know where I could get, like, 30 bags of potato chips, do you? Yeah. It's called a grocery store. Right. Dale Austin here. Yes, Marie. You can accrue all the expenses against all of the building depreciation we had for last year. Yes, exactly. Just do the math and it'll all work out exactly. All right then. Goodbye. <laughs> said that was so bad. Shall we talk more about my huge ass? Hey, for the love of God, let's not. Looks like you could land small aircraft on that thing. Oh, throat. Yes, nice 
kitty. Yes, you like the bath, don't you, kitty? Yes. Yeah. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's okay. Have you seen Mr. Peepers? Mr. Peepers? My cat. It smells like Mr. Peepers' cat shampoo in here. No, I'm not giving your cat a shampoo in the toilet. Okay. What is that you're doing? Cleaning. <coughs> I'm a little OCD. Okay. Just wanted to make sure you weren't tripping. I'm going to open a can of food for peepers. That always gets them running. Yeah. Well, Mr. Peepers, we had quite a day, didn't we? <coughs> Mr. Peepers, come and get it! Don't you guys ever leave here? No, it's like we're written this way. So, I have a conundrum. Oh, four-syllable word. Three. Thank you, Manny. So, uh, what can we do for you, Steve? Suck it! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. So, uh, how can we help you? Okay. I have a date with Tracy and a dinner meeting with the mayor at the same time. Really? How can you guys help? <laughs> Fred, I can't fix stupid, dude. God knows I've tried. My guess is you should try to talk a little less. And you? I think you should let me hypnotize you. I'll get rid of the stress and make you confident and ready to do both things at the same time. I don't know. It didn't work the last time. What makes you think it's gonna work this time? Well, Steve. Suck it! I'm completely confident that this time it's going to work. You have to trust me on this. Okay. Do your worst. Okay, okay. Read them off again. Let's go. Okay, okay. If anyone says hello, he says no. I won't sleep with you. <laughs> yeah, I love that one. That one's amazing. Go, Nick. Okay, if anyone says, are you all right? He says, do I look gay? Oh, perfect! And the piece de resistance whoa, 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 whoa. is uh, if anybody says, relax. He says, I was born to boogie. <laughs> wow! <laughs> do we really do that? Yep, and he's gonna be pissed. <laughs> oh, man. But you only live once. I love creating madness. <laughs> cool. Wow. It's been a long time since we've gone out. Yeah. It almost feels like a date. Yeah. Almost. Um, I'm feeling like a bathroom break. Do you mind? No, it's fine. Go ahead. Great. Hi, everyone. Sorry I'm late. Busy day. You must be Dale. Dale's been the mayor for five years. Very impressive. More of a statement of the level of intelligence in the town, if you ask me. Uh, unfortunately, I seem to have said that out loud. Uh, pass the sugar, please. So what's the dilly with this new show, Steve? Suck it! Are you all right? Do I look gay? Steve! Hello? Suck it! No, I won't sleep with you. <sighs> I need to go freshen up. Be right back. <sighs> hey! You went to the bar? No. Why would you say that? You have a drink in your hand. Oh, this! Yeah, I must have. <laughs> Are you all right? Do I look gay? I, I beg your pardon? Hello, can I get your autograph? No, I will not sleep with you. <sighs> okay, 
Let's calm down. You need to relax. I was born to boogie. <laughs> Did we do that? No. No way. I can't take credit for that bada boom bada butt thing he's got going on there. It's pretty impressive, actually. I guess he really was born the boogie. <laughs> Who would have thought? Wow. Steve, relax. Suck it. I was born boogie. Sit down. I mean it. Can I get you anything to drink before you order? A draft beer, please. Any kind. And you? I'll have what she's having. So make it two. Two for me, two for her. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? Geez, I hope so. I hate to lose it all now. I think I have to go to the bathroom again. Better, Steve. Suck it! I like your style. Abrasive, independent, irrelevant, very funny stuff. I hear you. <laughs> that was Dale's drink, hon. Was it? I feel terrible. Not a lot terrible, but enough where there's just a smidgen of guilt. Smidgen. It's a great word, smidgen. Not many people can use a word like that and not get killed. I think it was the ancient Spartans who used it before they used to kill their enemies. Smidgen! Smidgen! <laughs> I could be wrong. I wouldn't quote me on that. Man. It's... It's carnage out there. I sure wouldn't want to be him. <sighs> Look. I'm sorry about your chimp hair. I'm sorry about your big butt, too. And that eye snot thing you've got going on all the time. I'm sorry for every imperfection you have. And God knows there's tons of them. I love you, Chucky. <laughs> and I don't mind you at all, Tammy. Not at all. Hey, baby. When did we go to baby? Was that at all offensive? What the heck's the matter with you today? I can't really say. No, you can say. No, I can't. I really don't know. I haven't felt the same since Johnny's voodoo earlier. Voodoo? Yeah, they hypnotize me, so I wouldn't feel afraid being around you tonight. Huh. They hypnotize you, did they? I've seen that look before, dude. It ain't a healthy look. Them's what I call angry eyes. It's like she's a rabid dog foaming at the mouth. Well, this is another fine mess you got us into. Me? You better take that back or I'll punch you in the nose like a bad donkey. Sleepy. You're getting sleepy. Oh. Yeah. I think you've been punked. Wow. I'm impressed. You're impressed? Shouldn't you be pissed? How can I be? How amazing is that? They totally screwed me. <laughs> okay, so you're all insane, and I think I'm gonna go now. No, don't leave. I just mean it, it's great to see them taking the initiative like that. It's a good thing. Not particularly this time, because I'm half drunk. I think I just blew a TV deal and I wrecked my date with you. But at some point, this will be really funny. And what if I don't find it funny? Then you need to laugh more. Let it go. Relax. I was born to boogie.
Now, let me get this straight. He is the mayor, but just not of this town? Exactly. <laughs> Pot's a funny drug, but I think we all learned a very valuable lesson. Yes, I learned to not trust you. Excellent. And I, for one, learn that it's not good sandbox play to play God and ruin your best friend's uh, career and date. Manny? Can't say I learned anything. No, I'm pretty much exactly where I started. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with that. So you did learn something. You learned that you're incapable of learning. <laughs> and there you go. How cool is that? <laughs> I learn something every day. Or perhaps not. Either way, I gotta go water the daisies. All right. I saw you hypnotizing Manny last night. What did you do? Me? Nothing. I didn't do anything at all. My days of being a prankster are over. It's gone! My penis! It's gone! <laughs> Dude. Oh, strike that. It's back. The old penis is back. One, two, five. Working hard, having fun Now we're on our way We can always go back home Never on your own When friends are in your home Even far away you're near Cause hope spins on